Dale City woman says she and her children are homeless after a landlord rented out a home to her and had no active water service and has since been condemned. They are now living in a motel as they quickly run out of money. News Force Kai Torque is learning more about how the family ended up in this vine. Kai Tor. So we met up with Lene Tafoya at the motel that she's currently staying at with her kids. She tells us after they had moved into the house, she called the city of Dell City to activate the utilities, but was told they had to move out because the landlord hadn't completed the proper paperwork. I was upset to look at my kiddos and having to tell them like we're homeless and have nowhere to go and I'm fixing to sell all of our stuff. Lene Tafoya says she and her two daughters were thrilled to move into this southeast Dell City home in early September. It was rented to her by Mitchell and Son Properties, but when Tafoya called the city to activate the home's water, she was told they had to move out. And they were like, nobody's supposed to be there. So roughly two hours later, somebody come out and they put condemned papers on the house and told me I have 24 hours to get out. A city spokesperson tells News 4 the landlord never turned in the proper paperwork to get the house inspected and therefore it couldn't get certified for occupancy or have its water turned on. Once that is done, your home is good to go and you're ready to occupy. In this instance, there was no active utility account, so with no water, sewer or sanitation, the home is not safe to have someone live, so the home had to be condemned. Tafoya says her family is now homeless, staying at an area motel, telling us she's lost on how to help her 8 and 16 year old after all their money has been spent on this unfruitful move. I spend a lot of time crying. I try not to let them see me cry. I don't want them to think I don't have it, but I don't know what to do. Mitchell and Son tells News 4 that Tafoya had violated her contract by failing to pay any rent. But Tafoya says she should have never been allowed to move in if the required housing inspection to turn on utilities wasn't complete. And meanwhile, the city of Del City says they're actively waiting on the landlord to complete his application for a home inspection, saying this isn't the first time they've had to address the landlord about the proper processes.